At times, it feels to me that there is also a parallel universe in China. Do you know that there is a website called as Bilibili in China, which you can see on your screen. This is equivalent to what we have here in YouTube in English. I just searched with my name on Bilibili, Fahad Mirza. And lo and behold, there you go. Someone even has pasted my videos there on Bilibili. Just verbatim. I think they just downloaded it and then they posted it on Bilibili. Seems like a same person to me. If I, I don't know how to read Chinese, but if you look at these characters in Chinese, they, it seems it's the same channel. So if I go to this channel, then, okay, it is going to load hopefully sometime soon. Yeah, there it is. I think this guy is just downloading the videos from uh, various creators and uploading them. I'm not sure how can I claim it out there. But anyway, I'm not fussy about there about this at the moment. Anyway, so this that is not the topic of this. The topic is that Billy Billy, the company, has released few models which are Index 1.9 billion chat, Index 1.9 billion role play, and then there are few other base and foundational models. These models seem quite interesting. They are lightweight, small language models from Billy Billy. And so these models are being called as index series of models. In this video, I'm going to install this model locally and then we will play around with it. Not only we will be installing it in our CLI, but we will also be installing it through a Gradio demo. So you will also be able to run it with a GUI and we will see it shortly. Before I show you the installation and we go into more detail about this model, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the GPU and VM which I'm using for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I'm going to drop the link of their website in video description. Plus, I will also be putting a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. Coming back to this index model from Bilibili, so there are few variants of it. So there is 1.9 base, which is the foundational or base model featuring 1.9 billion non-word embedding parameters. Pre-trained on a 2.8 terabyte corpus primarily in Chinese and English. So it is just bilingual, but few people have reported that it even is uh, able to produce answers in some of the European languages, maybe due to the corpus soft. It has been trained on and according to few of the benchmarks which they have posted in their uh, model card it has outperformed its peers on multiple evaluation benchmarks at the same level which you can check out and i will drop the link to its model card in video description then after base they have 1.9 pure model the so pure model is a control group counterpart of the base model it is identical in parameters and training strategy with the exception being that they have rigorously filtered out all instruction related data in this version's corpus to assess the impact of instructions on the benchmark that is why they call it pure and then they have a chat model which is a dialogue model refined from the index base via sft and direct preference optimization and they have observed significantly enhanced conversation appeal due to the introduction of large amount of targeted clean dialogue corpus during pre-training and lastly they have this 1.9 billion character model which is an augmentation of sft and dpo with some retrieval augmented generation to enable short role playing customization which you can also check out and you can also even role, do the role play with this chat model if you use the right prompt in my opinion anyway so that's that's it let's go to my terminal and then we will get cracking on this model and i will be using conda for the installation so let me first quickly log into my terminal this is my terminal where i'm using ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card of nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram the conda version i'm using to create virtual environment is this let me create the screen and let me create the environment which i'm calling billy here let me do that and it is going to create the conda environment and also activate it and that is done so that is the first step next step let's also git clone the github repo of this 
model because I want to run it in the Gradio demo that has in this repo has some of the files. So that is done. Let me clear the screen. Let's install some of the prerequisites which include requirements, torch, sentence piece, Gradio, and accelerate to optimize it. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. So first up, once this installation is done, I am going to show you how it works in CLI and then we will launch the Gradio GUI. We will also play around with this model in the GUI. Let's wait for it to finish. And all the requirements are done. It is going to take around four to five minutes. Let me clear the screen. And now let, let me first launch my Python interpreter. Here, let's import the libraries which we have just installed. That is done. And now let me specify the model path, which is you can download either from Hugging Face or you can even specify the local one. I have just defined this parser. I have added the argument that this is my model I'm downloading. And then just few of the parameters. And then from there, I'm also adding that I'm running it on CUDA, which is GPU. If you have CPU, you can try it out on CPU too. Just replace this with CPU. Okay, so that is done. Let's grab the tokenizer which is going to convert our text into tokens and let's also gen, um, create a pipeline for the text generation it is just taking our model our tokenizer and that is done cool now let me press enter few times let me give it a system prompt and a target prompt now you can give it in the chinese or in english so they have this prompt in Chinese on their model card. I can translated it into English. So it is saying for the system or the LLM that you are index a uh, large language model developed by Billy Billy. You can assist user in completing tasks and generating appropriate responses based on the input provided. And then I'm asking it to do this. Continue writing if heaven didn't birth Jane Golau. I think some folklore character from Chinese. If you are from Chinese background, please confirm what exactly this Jane Golau is okay let's specify the system prompt and stuff that is done let's grab the model output that is going to take two seconds and then you can print the model output there you go so this is our system prompt and then this is where assistant has provided that if heaven didn't but Jin Gulao, the world would be a much different place. His music would not have touched so many hearts. And then his legacy would never have been so grand and all that stuff. Amazing stuff. That's a very good response. So this is CLI. Now let's try to see how can we run it in the Gradio demo. We already have installed Gradio, which we did in the earlier, um, which we did in at the very start. Let's exit from here. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to run the Gradio demo, all you need to do is to run this command. Now, I'm just calling my Python and in the GitHub repo, I'm calling this web demo, which they have provided. I'm running it in port 8085. You can run it on any port of your choice. This is the model path on my local system. The whole path until snapshot and this snapshot ID. Let's run it. It is hopefully going to start the Gradio on our local system. If the port is free, there you go. So now it is running on this uh, local system or public ip port 8085 let me go to my browser and open it at port 8085 and there you go so i have just opened it in my local host port 8085 on the left there are few of the hyper parameters let me try to make it a bit smaller so that it will fit on the screen and we should be able to see something cool now here just you can use chinese if you know what but i'm just going to go with english so I am just asking it the same I have same thing which I did in the CLI and I am just going to again give the same prompt and then I am just going to press enter here or I think there should be a submit button somewhere yep there you go and it is running locally it is telling out about all that stuff okay sorry I didn't press the give the pro correct prompt and i was wondering what is heck happening anyway now it should give us a proper one let me press submit here there you go the same response as we saw earlier cool model 
that is done and by the way jin gulao seems some paintings music maybe scholar writer okay so i think i will read about him or her i would need to see who this person was anyway let's try out another prompt in this one i'm asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty if you have been following my channel you might know that most of the models fail this test so let's see if this model is able to do it or not there you go nope you see this model didn't pass this test not even a single sentence which is ending with the word beauty okay let's try out one more okay in the next one i'm asking it a logical question i'm asking it assume the laws of physics on earth a small marble is put into a normal cup and the cup is placed upside down on a table someone then takes the cup and puts it inside the microwave where is the ball now explain your reasoning step by step so let's see let's click submit and then i would have to scroll down on linux uh, the gui of gradio is not that cool it's still printing let's wait for it to finish and there you go so the answer is that if we assume the laws of physics on earth when the small marble is put into a normal cup and the cup is placed upside down the marble will fall out of the cup due to gravity that is good that is what i wanted to know that if it understands it and then it is also talking about some electromagnetic radiation amazing amazing good stuff okay let's try to see uh, about a math question so in this one i'm asking it a simple math equation the answer is 20 let's see if model is able to solve it you see the chain of thought really good it is doing it amazing stuff very very correct now towards the end let's ask it a coding question in this coding question i am asking it to identify and fix the bug in a python function so let's see if it is able to do it yep that's correct amazing stuff so you see it is good in maths it is good in coding it is good in english and of course it is good in chinese and then its logical reasoning is also quite well really like it so that's it guys i think quite a good model in just 1.9 billion chat one good for devices too i believe if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps and i will go explore the billy billy bit more as seems interesting